Good evening everybody and welcome back channel. So it's Sunday evening and I decided I'm going to make a video. Um, it's going to be something a little different than we're used to. Uh, we're at home in my uh, home little studio slash model room slash whatever you want to call it. Kind of man cave. I do all my uh, uh, throwback Thursday videos in here. Got everything set up to do it. Computer and, and if you remember from a few weeks ago my 3D printer went down. So uh, I've tried to get parts for it, can't come up with parts for it. So I was talking to my mom about it. She's like, you know what, why don't you just get you a new printer? So I really wanted to try a resin printer. Uh, instead of the plastic filament, I wanted to try the uh, liquid resin. So I uh, started doing a little research and uh, found out that the Elgo Saturn V would probably be a good fit for me. So, what we're going to do tonight on the channel is we're going to unbox it. And uh, kind of for you guys that want to get into the resin printing, uh, these videos will be a learning experience for all of us. We can all learn together on how to do this because I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So, uh, figure, well, start making videos about it because if I learn it, maybe I can teach somebody else how to do it. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox the 3D printer itself. And then I also got the Elgo or Elgo, however you want to say it, uh, Mercury X bundle wash and cure machine. So uh, got a lot to learn. So let's get this unboxed and see what we got. I'll make sure the camera can see it here. We'll open this up. It's kind of funny. Yesterday I'm getting an old D8 cat running. And now today, I'm uh, unboxing a, a 3D printer. Uh, this channel is uh, very diverse. That's a good way to put it. So they package this very nicely. Nice foam. Oh, here she is. Well, hopefully I can get this out of here. Okay, so we got a tool kit. Looks like we got quite a bit of stuff in there, so we'll move that to the side and get the camera in closer for that. But uh, let's get our main thing out of here. And actually, uh, my mom chipped in on this with me uh, for part of my for my birthday gift, so uh, she helped me uh, get this bought, and it was her idea. So here we go. Here is our new 3D printer. It packages very well. Let's check it out and see what we got. I'm really excited to learn how to use this so I can start making more models and make different. Uh, I'd like to make all the equipment on the channel such as the excavators, feller buncher, and stuff like that. I'd like to make them into models and possibly sell them. Oh, look at there. Nicely packaged. This is the table, the build plate for it. Okay. Lay that down. Get all this foam out of here. So this is the tray that the resin actually goes into. And as this builds, this raises out of here, and your model is built on the bottom of that plate from videos that I've watched. So this is the cover that goes over it. I'm assuming while it's building or after, I don't know. I have to learn any instructions. So we'll set this to the side for now. It's all aluminum, very nicely built. Set this over here. Now, let me move the camera and we'll have a look at what's in the toolkit. Okay, so we'll open up this toolkit here. So we have some latex gloves. I've been told that we need those. Uh, we have a, a memory stick, a nice pair of, uh, if I can get them out of there. Nice pair of nippers for cutting off the supports for our models. 
various screws, Allen wrenches, power cord. I would say that's a, a power adapter of some sort. Nice scraper. Another scraper. Got some some paper masks. We have some filters for our resin. And then this is the uh, the filter. Um, this plugs in, and I guess this filters out all the toxins or whatever from the resin. And then we have some nice instruction instruction booklets. Looks like a leveling paper. We'll have to learn how those work. Looks to be very understandable, easy understandable instructions. Okay. Well, like I said, we're not going to actually print tonight on this video. I just wanted to unbox it with everybody, show you what you get. And we'll just go along in videos, and uh, we'll learn how to do this together. So let's grab the other box. I'm going to move the camera away. We'll grab the other box and check out what's in there. Okay, so we got the other box. And I know some of you aren't going to enjoy this video, but I... I'm pretty sure a lot of you will enjoy it and if uh, you don't enjoy it you don't you don't necessarily have to watch it <laughs> you can go watch somebody else momentarily but I'd hope that you come back um, so this is our Elgo 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 Mercury X bundle so we got an operators guide here operations guide sorry looks pretty easy to understand now the way I understand is this washes your print after you printed it. it. Gets all the extra resin residue off. It's kind of like a dishwasher, basically. And then there's also there's also the curing part that it does. The way this resin works is kind of like when they fill a tooth at the dentist. The light they hold on it activates the filling. And that's basically what this is doing, is it's activating the material to cause it to harden. And that's what creates your print. Kind of reminds me of just a big blender of some sort, this part is. Pretty cool. So I don't know if this is necessary, but I seen the bundle and I read through some comments on it and a lot of people said that it was a good thing to buy if you're going to get into this. So that's part of the washing. This is the cover for this. Like I said, I got a lot to learn and I figured I'd just take everybody along with me for the ride. This is something that uh, we'll work on like on Sundays, Sunday evenings we'll do this. Because during the week obviously I got the big projects going on. But through the winter when it gets super cold at night, you know, this is a good thing to do at home. Open this up, this kind of reminds me of a Tupperware container. Let's see what's in here. We've got screws and an Allen wrench. Put those there. We've got the curing. I believe these are the curing lights. They go in there. Yep, that's what I think they are. Oh, this light bar should be installed on the left side slot of the machine, and the machine can work normally only if the two terminals below are connected correctly. Okay. Oops. Probably just broke it. No, in my luck. Power source for this. Some sort of rack. We'll have to read through the instructions on that. Oh, and this is the base for the. Uh... Oh, okay. This is for the washing machine. Okay. I'm learning already. Alright, I see how this works. Okay, so this is actually for the washing machine. Okay, 
So this is the basket. So it must work sort of like a washing machine or a dishwasher. This sits on top of there like so, just like that. These will have to be screwed to this base and see there, yep, there are LEDs in there. Okay, I see all those. So that'll be like that. Okay, so next step, I got to figure out where I'm going to set all this up. So I do have a nice dresser here in my room that I could set it up, but I need to see what ventilation I need. I don't know if with the uh, ventilator deal it has with it, if that's enough, or I still need to have it in a ventilated area, so I need to read through the instructions and figure that one out. So we'll cover all that in the next video. This video, I just wanted to unbox it, show you what's in there, and uh, introduce it to you a little bit. So Anyways, thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. See you all in the next one. Sorry this video is a little off topic, but uh, thank you for watching. If you watched it, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching.